Hi, yeah. so Open Close is a project, uh, it's a community interest company uh, with the aim of supporting local artists, uh, celebrating local creativity, creating opportunities in the city for creative people, um, and just showing that creativity can be really, really positive for a city. Um, it started off three years ago, uh, very small. Uh, we got some funding to do six doors in the city centre to get people to explore around the city, um, to take new routes around the, um, around the city and discover parts of the city that they might never ever have been to or never walk around. And those six doors quickly kind of snowballed. We ended up getting 20 doors painted all across the alleyways in the city centre. Uh, the year after that, we got another 20 doors done in Stubbswell, which is an area to the north east of the city centre um, and now we've started doing large-scale murals so these large murals are going to be in kind of the centre in the hearts of communities uh, and near cultural attractions and green spaces to connect all the city together via a trail of really large beautiful striking artworks and the one you see behind me just now um, this was done last year in uh, 2019 as part of a crowdfunding project over a hundred people funded this um, it's done by two artists Kirsty Whiten and um, Fandango Kid. And it's a large piece um, speaking about grief um, and kind of rituals people have to get through grief. So we're just outside the Science Center and the DCA right now, um, looking at this large piece here on the back of the DCA, which they actually funded. This was by um, an illustrator who used to be in Dundee, she's moved now, Sophia Sita. Um, and it's a piece about sort of dreaming big. It's just called The Dreamer. Um, and she said she wanted it to be about the little Dundee, the little city that dared to dream big. So a very nice bright piece on the back of the DC here. And they actually funded this piece. So we're down Cootie's Wine right now, which believe it or not, actually used to be one of the main streets in Dundee. Uh, we've got four artworks down here. Uh, the first one's by a local graffiti artist called Syke, and he's done a, a Van Gogh tribute here. And the second piece that we come to is by Seagull. He's regularly refreshed this door. The latest iteration of it is a flapper girl. Um, and this piece by Gregor Thompson was actually the very first piece we did about three and a half years ago. And as you can see, it's not even been touched. Uh, this alleyway is connecting the street at the bottom to the Nethergate here, which is one of the main streets. And the artworks really help to connect different parts of the city and encourage exploration throughout the city. So this piece isn't an open close piece, but I thought it was worth showing you. Um, it is by Studio Name and Rachel E. Miller, and it was done as part of the Design Festival, which took place in the Keeler Center uh, last year. It's an old shopping center, which are looking to revitalize. So I hope that's given you a good snapshot of what it's like to come on an open close tour, the kind of value these projects can bring to a city, improving unloved urban spaces, supporting local artists, um, creating more interest uh, beyond the sort of usual cultural attractions, and sort of helping to kind of revitalize kind of some spaces within a city.